Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Heinze. Right on time. Usually nobody shows up quite that fast to watch me, but I am honored that you have chose to be here. And welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us here on, uh, on Lotro stream. John DeGuard, welcome as well. I'm jumping back in with Helting tonight. I think I'm, oh, Abigail, hello. I think I'm going to go do my uh, Northern Strongholds dailies to kick things off. I've been working through, ah, there's a fly in my house. Uh, I've been working through the Lay of Rust and Rhyme. But I think I'm going to jump in and do the dailies first. I haven't done this particular set of dailies. So I'm going to do those to start off with. Oh yeah, I was playing around. I made it to the top of, where am I? Thom Eldir. I got quite a view from up here. Let's see if I can increase my uh, video settings. I can't see much more. You can see Loigland. You can see the old lake town, Smog's Bones. You can see the new lake town. You can't quite see Dale, I don't think. Maybe you can, or I'm making it up. Hard to say. And we can see back into Mirkwood. Back to Aaron Lesgillen, I guess. I have to stop calling it Mirkwood. Anyways, I'm going to start with my dailies today. So I will head back to Dale. Actually, let's take this one. Hope everybody's week is getting off to a good start. What have the hobbits got for me today? A silver gift of scrolls of max morale and power. Nice. I should probably use those. I have 46 of them now. And they don't do much. My inventory is full of a varied assortment of rewards from lesser areas because I have been spending a little bit of time trying to finish my deed log. So I got Breland finished. I got the Shire finished. I got Erdween almost finished. I have literally one mob to kill. <laughs> and I could not find Gathoop in the ruins of Sarnur this weekend. I tried for a couple hours and I was unable to track that beast down. I think I got the Lone Lands finished except for Believe it or not, Voglerker Slayer. I've not got that one finished yet. I got the North Downs finished, but I think I finished that a long time ago. And by finished, I mean finished all the things I've started. I am not entirely convinced that I've started everything that is available. But. Usually the cat is the hard one to find. Yeah, and I don't... I mean, I, I had three of them done before I tried to finish it. You know what? I can't do my dailies because I have to wait two more days. When do they reset? <laughs> Thursday. They reset Thursday morning. All right. Never mind. We will go to Erebor.
So yeah, I had, um, I remember doing a lot of the Sarnor quests on this character at level. Just because the quests were given out in in more in uh, in Moria in uh, Thorns Gate, so I went and I did a bunch of them. So that's probably where I killed the cat. I think I saw the cat there, and I, of course, I didn't need it, so I'm trying not to kill it because those I think those named mosses bosses in Sarnor have like a crazy long respawn time. I uh, I went in Saturday, later on Saturday, and I don't think I saw any bosses at all. And then I went in Sunday morning when I started playing, and that's actually when I saw quite a few of them. The two, well, the two more that I got. Which tells me that I was the first one there after the daily reset. I think it's six hours for respawn. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. And that's just, it's an annoying amount of time to wait. Nope, can't go through the door. Go, go, there we go. So I finished, what is it, chapters? Lost Rage Epic. So in the Lay of Rust and Rhyme, I finished eight of 16. So we're now learning about the enemies that are threatening this area. Figuring out who exactly they are. An unexpected summons. It has been quiet of late, but it brings me no comfort. Vethug Wintermind will come. He may arrive this very day, on the morrow, or perhaps months shall pass before at last he reveals himself. For that reason, I have spent many nights in wakefulness pondering the fate of Thikul Gundu in the Grey Mountains. Is that the fate that shall befall Erebor? Will the folk of Dale and Aaron Lesgalen soon know all too well the cold that overtook us in the north? It does me no good to dwell on such thoughts, and indeed there are more pressing matters this day. D, the keeper of Ravenhill and sister of Thorin Oakenshield, sent me an urgent summons requesting my presence at Ravenhill. It is a strange request, I think. There is no ill will between the ravens and Durin's folk, but we have grown distant since the days of Rock, the raven chief. His descendants are not known to me, and I do not think any in this realm have seen a raven of his stock in many years. I would ask that you accompany me to Ravenhill. If we have need to return swiftly to Erebor, we shall ride together. All right, Thorin. Let us go to Ravenhill. Anarchy, bet that one has an attitude. I, I'll take that bet. <laughs> I would never bet against you, Southern Bell. Welcome, thanks for dropping in. We have arrived. For many long years, even by the reckoning of Durin's folk, Dee has been the keeper of Ravenhill. Had Feely and Keely not met with their tragic fates, I do not know if she would have come to tend the peoples of Rock. Such questions are best left unanswered, I think. Dee would not summon me without cause, and so I am curious to learn what matter could be so pressing, and perhaps of use to my kinsfolk upon the eve of battle. Shall we enter? Yes, let us go. 
Let us learn for what purpose D has summoned us. I have come, D. Why have you summoned me to Ravenhill? D seems unusually wary of speaking in your presence, but gestures for you to approach. I did not expect to see you. Am I to understand you have some business with the king under the mountain this day? You explained to D that Erebor will soon be under siege by the great cold drake Bethug Wintermind, and that you have served as something of an ambassador to King Thorin III. These tidings are known to me. You may remain, but do not interrupt. This is a matter between the king under the mountain and the ravens of the north. And now I shall answer your question, king under the mountain. At long last, one of the line of Kroar and Rock has returned to Ravenhill. And now you too have come. A wooden whistle and its shrill, ah, what did she say? Shrill call echoes through Ravenhill. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's a name that's going to be tough to pronounce. Pretty sure I'll get it wrong. Arca. Hail, king under the mountain. I am Arca, daughter of Kroar, chief of my people. I am Thorin Stonehelm, third of my name. Why now do you seek an audience with me? Thorin, curious. It has been many years since I dwelt in the shadow of the mountain. When I was not long for my egg, Rock was chief. He knew friendship with your people and he had not forgotten the kings of old. I have not forgotten them either. The last king of your name left Rock in anger, and he dishonored the friendship between our peoples. Though it may not be remembered thus among the folk of Durin, it is thus remembered to us. This is why I seek your audience. Shall you prove different, Thorin Stonehelm? I cannot answer for the hurts my forebear brought upon you. I knew only that your people lent us great aid and in times of both peace, great aid in times of both peace and strife. Despite these unexpected tidings, you honor me with your summons. It seems I now seek your audience. An old foe of my people, a cold drake, shall soon come to Erebor. He was drawn hither by a man of unusual longevity named Karasgar. I fear my people may not endure them both, and so I beg your aid. The keen eyes of your people may reveal secrets of great import. They may decide the fate of Durin's folk. I would see the friendship between our peoples strengthened once more. If this you swear, I shall do as you bid. Quite an honorable crow, or raven, I guess. I shall honor the old ways of Thror and Kark. You will have the thanks of Durin's folk and all that your people desire. This oath, I swear. Very well. Yet I must know who is your companion. <laughs> what, what, at the end of the conversation? It's like, whoa, this guy's got a huge ring in his head. <laughs> 
Now, who are you, man? You introduce yourself and tell Arka of the many adventures that led you to the north. An interesting tale, it seems you have been an ally to many others before you came to serve the king under the mountain. Curious. If next I summon you, you would be wise to answer my call. When ravens call, I would be wise to answer their call. If you've made a promise, king under the mountain, I trust you speak true. Arca loses a cry and the ravens of Ravenhill fly forth. There they go. I've sent my people to spy upon your foes in the north. When they return, you will know as they you will know as they know. I have spoken. These are good tidings. The ravens of the line of Roach, son of Kark, were of great wisdom, and I believe that Arka shall prove no different. Her ravens shall spy the hidden foes and dangers of the north, and if all goes as I hope, you, we will learn precisely when Vethug intends come to Erebor. Intends to come to Erebor. We shall know the truths beyond our sight and be the better prepared for it. I must honor the promise I have made to Arka, and so I wish to return to Erebor. Let us go. Back to Erebor. An unexpected summons. Patience will serve us. Arka possesses the wisdom of Rock. Of this I am certain. Her ravens are fewer in number, but their eyes remain keen in matters of spying. With their aid, we might sooner learn the truth of the visions you were granted. Why has Bethug not yet come to Erebor? What does Karasgar seek in Dol Guldur? And now has he traveled, and how has he traveled so many miles in so short a time? We have sent the ravens forth, and we must now wait upon the tidings of their return. All right, are we done waiting? The nice thing about not doing these weekly is that you don't really have to wait when they tell you you have to wait. Ah, it is a good it is good that you have come. It is a difficult matter to trust in the truth of such strange visions, and though I do not doubt your character or resolve, I fear that we have been misled. Bethug has not flown from the Grey Mountains, Karsgar is wounded and lost, and it seems we have needlessly readied ourselves for a battle that will not come. We should enjoy such a peace while we can, and instead thoughts of terror cloud the minds of many in the north. The green lady you spoke of, the elven king, once knew her, did he not? Has she been a friend to the elves? Are her words true, or are they mere riddles? I ask that you seek an audience with King Thranduil and hear his counsel. If there is no longer any need to fear, I would not have our peoples live as if the war were not ended. Okay. Off to see King Thranduil, and I can probably get there. No, not that way. That's all I got. I never found a... Is there a... Anybody know of a guide or a return to Felaga? For barter? Just came from a BFA stream back to the real MMO. Nice. Welcome back. We'll try and treat you right, Big Red. Thanks for dropping in. I think Dale has the only barter return skill. There's for Dale, yeah. Yeah, I picked up the uh, return to Dale. I'm a little disappointed in the stable master. Like, they put the daily quests at one end of town and the return to point at the other end of town. I know it's sort of a first world problem, but it could have been a little more convenient. There's none for Felagoth. Fair enough. The Lady and the Mirror. 
Hail, what tidings bring you from Erebor? You tell King Thranduil that Vathug Wintermine has not come to Erebor, and King Thorin III has begun to question the visions granted to you by the Green Lady. Tarasane is of the uttermost west, but neither her designs nor those of her lord are known to me. I can offer no counsel in such matters, but I know one who may. The Lady Galadriel of Lorien possesses a sight beyond all others, and she would know well if such a foe came unbidden to the old fortress of the enemy. Go to her court among the highest flats of Karis Galadon. She will have the answers you seek, be they good or ill. <laughs> it's a feature. Yeah, no, fair enough. I, um... It does help to spread people out, so I'm sure there was some reasoning behind it. I think, can I talk to Galadriel in the court of Lothlorien? Let's give it a shot. See if this works. Yes, I can. Excellent. She's very white. I think it's the, um, I think in my graphic settings, I set, ambient light. Oh, even when I set it to zero, she's very washed out. Apparently it is very difficult to render the, uh, the high elven glow in, uh, in DirectX 9. Hail, I heard, I had heard you traveled far to the north into the lands of the Bardings and Durin's folk. Was that not so? You tell Lady Galadriel that you adventured among the strongholds of the north, but in your search for the weeping warrior, your path became unclear. You encountered a powerful being of the uttermost west known as the Green Lady, and she granted you three visions, one of which suggested that the weeping warrior had returned to Dol Guldur. We will speak of the tale you told me, Helting, but first I must offer you this new knowledge. Dol Guldur is no longer named as such among my people. It is now named Dol Danan. I'm guessing the H is silent. Dol Danan, or the Hill of Ruin in the common speech. The Hill of Ruin, Dol Danan. I'm not going to remember that. The elves of Lorien have kept watch on the ruins of the tower, but its pits are laid bare, and no evil that passes beneath the trees is hidden to us. I do not doubt your words, but it would be nigh impossible for one of the Gurzuil to pass unnoticed into Dol Danan. Yet you speak of one of the uttermost west who bid you return to Dol Danan. This I cannot so idly overlook. Let us descend to my garden, and there I shall command the mirror to reveal what it may of Doldanon and Karsgar. Oh, now i got to go to her garden. <laughs> all right, I thought I was being clever by not going all the way back to Karis Galavan. But apparently, they are not going to let me do that. I can't walk out this front door yet, can I? All right. I think I can get there from Enidwaith. Oh, wait, I'm looking for the stable master. Forgot what I was doing here suddenly. Got distracted. What is your purpose here, Devodiad? I need a ride. <laughs> Earning that return to skill for Enidwyth is probably the fastest way to get back into Karis Galathon if you don't have an, a, uh, if you're not a hunter or a warden or a high elf.
I wonder what deeds I have left here. Where is this? In... Oh, it's right there. Lothlorien. I assume that's the only one. I only have one deed left? Wow. Gravy. Uger. Uger's just coming in, trolling away. Give him that little sword badge. He gets all powerful. How you doing, Uger? Nice to see you. I did find that missing shrew. He uh, he stole he stole the little halfling's pouch of tobacco. Oh, sorry, not tobacco, pipeweed. They don't call it tobacco. I'm doing good. Week's getting off to a good start. I'm kind of lucky. My weeks generally get off to a good start. It's kind of around the middle of them that they go south. Wait. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> she's not here. Suddenly she just appears. See, here she's not washed out. A little bit more when I select her. But different armor, I guess. Right? She's not in her, uh, her battle armor. A different outfit. I love all, all there is is these beautiful places and name is Karis Galathon, but to get to them, you use ladder. <laughs> True. Do you wish to know what I have seen? I commanded the mirror to reveal the pits of Doldan and, and I beheld only ruin. It showed beasts scavenging in the wreckage of the tower and orcs lost in darkness, but I saw naught of the one named Karsgar. You have gone... You have come seeking my counsel, but I do not give counsel. The mirror has shown me what I commanded, but I, but have I seen things as they truly are? One of the uttermost west would not grant such a vision without cause, and you have traveled far in search of this man. You will not go to Daldan and alone, Helting. We shall return to that place together. What? I get to, like, hang out with Galadriel? That's awesome. Whispers in the pits. I have gathered a small company to lead us to Daldanon. It is there you can seek the weeping warrior, Karsgar. Lord Caliborn, King Thranduil, and I will guide you to the ruined hill. Sigileth has asked to accompany us on this journey as well, and I would not deny her in this. Uh-oh. Sigileth is I'm going back to Dol Guldur with Sigileth. Uh-oh. It's a little, little foreshadowing here. Let us hope that whatever remains of the legacy of the necromancer and Dol Guldur will be the last and will be at last ended this day. We shall depart when you are prepared. I am prepared. I get the whole party. Oh, and I get just a random hobbit hanging around too. Cool. We have come to Dol Dan and it is it is as lifeless as the vision of the mirror revealed to me, but I would not have you search the ruins atop the hill. Hey, hard hit, welcome. Welcome, thanks for coming in, man. Nice to see you. Hail, Seven Nero says, hail Morgoth. No, don't say that word. No, no, it's Melkor you don't say. Oh, and I said it. Sigileth told me of the hidden chambers of Gastador beneath the tower where she dwelt after the battle against Mazog and where Sauron regained his strength in the guise of the necromancer. It is there you must go. It is unlikely that the original passage into Gastador remains intact, so you will have to find another way into the pits of Doldanon. We shall remain on guard here and I shall send Sigileth to aid you if you do not soon return. Oh, I guess I'm just... I came this far with them and that's it. Then they just hang out there. All right, fair enough. It looks like I just have to follow this road all the way around.
Yeah, she did a pretty good job taking this place down, didn't she? for the west while well, setting off explosives everywhere i hear ya it was quite a show a weather you have discovered a weathered trap door leading down to Gustador. not a ladder but a weather trap a weather what was it called? <laughs> I just had it selected. Weathered trapdoor. All right. We're in. Although we're, it looks like we're going to need a ladder to get out. Let's see what happens. Ah, I'm trapped. I am to search for signs of Karsgar. It would be nice if I could just ask one of these orcs. Don't think there's anything over there. These guys attack me? Yes, they do. As you approach the throne of the necromancer, a vision comes over you. None of the emissaries I sent to the mountain have returned alive, devoured, burned by dragon fire. Have I misjudged your worth, Karsgar? You have never misjudged any who serve you, Lord Sauron. By my hand, Thostir, Fingar, and the hated Hrimmel are imprisoned in Mordor. The dragon Smaug has, was deceived by my plan and brought his wrath upon the dwarves. I have done as you wished. No. Smaug the Golden does not serve me. Sloth and greed are his masters. What would you have me do, my lord? 
I shall send no more emissaries. You will go to the mountain this time, Karsgar. There's a dwarf-made axe here. Embedded in a pile of bones. Oh, shadowy impressions from the past unfold before your sight. You have come unbidden, Karsgar. I traveled to the mountain and delivered your demands to the dragon Smaug. And you have returned? Yes, my lord. I, they're kind of stating the obvious here. Yeah, he's like right here. Three tokens I bore to the mountain. The scales of the hated ring drakes. The skull of Thrain. And when he thought not of those, I laid before him the twin of the axe I used to raise his ire against the dwarves. Though he labored to conceal it, his fear betrayed him. And this proves him a worthy servant to me? I offered him a choice, Lord Sauron. I will return to the mountain in 50 years to hear his answer. This time he will serve willingly. Fifty years, Karasgar. No longer. Fairly patient people, I must admit. Shadowy impressions from the past unfold before your sight. The great fool has come. He knows now the truth of the necromancer, but it matters not. His staff is lost, and his counsel shall come too late. But they will come, and I will abandon Dol Guldur. The Nazgul have long prepared for my return to Mordor. Baradur shall rise from its ruins, and my servants will gather beneath it. But for you, loyal Gerzul, I have another task. What would you ask of me, my lord? The time shall soon come to hear the answer of Smaug the Golden. Order him to Mordor. If he does not obey, destroy him. When the last survivors of the desolation are slain, these lands shall be yours. You are generous and wise, Lord Sauron. I will not fail you. As the shadowy impressions fade, you hear a familiar voice calling out for you. Hey, Sigleth, alive in Dol Guldur. Dol Danon. Awesome to see. What has happened? Did Karasgar escape by some secret path? You explained to Sigleth that shadowy impressions revealed much of the history of Karasgar and Sauron and Lord in Dol Guldur. After the impressions were interrupted when you first came to Gastadar and discovered Sigilith, you were meant to return and witness the last remnants of the necromancer's evil lingering within the room of voices. I am not certain I understand, but I believe your words. Karasgar is an elusive foe, but it seems something of his mind was revealed to you. Let us hope there is an advantage to be gained from it. The orcs that remain here have grown hungry and wild. If you have found what you sought, we should leave this place. Are you ready? Let us climb from this ruin and leave this place. All right, let's get out. Ooh, that's some nice fast travel. Sauron is far more patience than me. I must admit, I'd give Smog 49 years tops. <laughs> exactly. Well, now I'm like, well, wait, 
when is the 50 years up? Like, like it's obviously before The Hobbit, right? It must be, because he would have went and destroyed him. So Smog was around for The Hobbit. So, so I'm trying to figure out if we were ever told. So when we did the epic storyline in northern Mer or in southern Mirkwood, we went into that cave. And that's when Gandalf went and discovered that Sauron was in fact, or the necromancer was in fact Sauron. And that was one of the times that Gandalf lost his staff, had his staff broken. Uh, so now I don't, but I don't know the date. I don't know the year. I don't know the years that well, but I don't know when the year was relative to say the Hobbit or anything else. So it's just kind of cool to see all this timeline kind of like weaving itself together. What did you find in the pits of Doldanon? You tell Lady Galadriel that the lingering evils in the room of voices revealed Karazgar's intentions to subjugate the dragons and drive out the people of the north that he might rule it for him. He might rule it himself for however long his life may last deprived of Sauron's power. It seems you were guided to this place by the hand of the uttermost west. And even if he did not return as I suspected, something of Karsgar remained here and it was meant that you should discover it. I have spoken to King Thranduil and we are in agreement. You would do well to return to the lands of the north at once. The king under the mountain must be told of what has happened and he must prepare for his people for what is to come. Must prepare his people for what is to come. Be swift. Hey, Kraus. To Undergard, I don't know. It was like eight years ago I did that. Well, I know. It's like... But that's what it so it keeps me coming back to this game is I get this little tidbit and I go, wait, we did this like at level 65. Mirkwood would have been whatever level it was. It was 65, I think, right? That was a long time ago. All right, talk to King Thorin the Third. Well, there's a horse here. Let's take this horse. I wish I had your memory. Well, it, it's not, I wish I had a better one. Or, oh, that's where this comes. I didn't really want to be here. Well, let's just take How another horse. Of service? Oh, wait, wait, that's the wrong one. I have How to talk to Thrandiel. I have to talk to that guy. Um, yeah, I try and uh, I try and stitch all the little things together as I go through the book. Um, so I'm constantly. I find myself in the last three or four years, kind of constantly reading the books and playing the game and trying to figure out parallels between the two of them. There's quest text. This happened entirely by accident. Uh, I was doing the Agronith quests in in Mordor on probably on this character on Helting, and in there they talk about Lareth and they talk about her history and her development of the plague and the the first plague. They meant they talk specifically about the first plague. And how the first plague was intended to wipe out the race of men in in Middle Earth, and you know it was unleashed and it did a bunch of things. And it was at the same time on another character. I was doing quests in um, Agamar in the Lone Lands, and those quests also mentioned the plague. And I did them like a day or two apart and the quest text was just so consistent. And I'm just thinking these, like at any game company, these quest writers are different people. Like these quests were probably written 12 years apart. But the quest text between the two of them was just incredibly consistent. So yeah, it's, it's super cool to like get all the mingling of the, uh, of the lore kind of webbed together. 
Hey, El, you have gone, you have been gone for some time. Tell me, what have you learned? You tell King Thorin III of your adventures in Karas Galavan and Dol Danim. You explain that your vision bore fruit and that while Karsgar may still be among the peoples of the north, his intentions and purpose have been made clear. You also urge King Thorin III to consider the Lady of the Woods' warning and prepare Durin's folk for battle against Vethug Wintermind. I see, I had wished it untrue, but it seems Vethug is fated to come to Erebor. We cannot know when he shall strike, but for now we must remain on guard. I shall send word to the Queen Regent and the Elven King, and we shall soon speak on what is to be done. We shall soon speak on what is to be done. All right, let's speak on what is to be done. Maybe they're consistent because Tolkien was so consistent, or maybe just chance. Um, there is certainly a lot of consistency in Tolkien because he cared deeply about things being consistent over time. And by over time, I mean through the whole mythology. But there's also a lot of inconsistencies because he's human and imperfect, and that's a lot. He wrote a lot, to, uh, and it would have been very difficult to maintain perfect consistency. But, but the developers at Standing Stone Games also have a very strong passion for that same level of consistency. So you can see it in the things that they do. Um, a lot of the things, a lot of the stories that they write, you can see the themes of Tolkien running through the stories that they themselves have written uh, to be consistent with, with what Tolkien wrote. I remember the very first time I went into Agonite, the very first thing that I thought was that it would look a lot like Agamar. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's like, and the stories, I can't wait to do them both again which again keeps me coming back to the game just so I can I can discover once more what what I missed the first time. All right, through the eyes of ravens. I'm glad you have returned. I received word from D that Arka's ravens have begun to return to Ravenhill and I would like to know what they have learned concerning the plots of Karasgar and Bethug Wintermind. Alas, there are matters I must attend to here in Erebor or I would make the journey myself. Will you go to Ravenhill and seek the counsel of Arka on my behalf? I trust you will recount every detail to me on your return. All right, I gotta go talk to. You. What would she be called? The matriarch of the ravens? Chief. I guess they called her the chief, didn't they? The raven chief has summoned her kin, Dr. Ravenhawk. So that's interesting. So Karsgar was meant to, I don't quite get the story about, you know, Smaug serving him or he destroys Smaug. And either way, he takes control of these lands. If that's the case, Smaug was destroyed. So why wasn't he able to take control of the lands? Or maybe he, when he destroys Smog, he takes Smog's power or something? I wonder why ravens are always so relevant in fantasy. That is a question I cannot answer. Um, but it's a good one. And I too now wonder. Where am I going? Oh, Raven. I guess I can ride there. I don't have to walk all the way there. Yeah, I think uh, I think things like that, like the ravens and the ravens being messengers, isn't probably is probably a a much older concept than like Tolkien probably didn't invent that. He probably borrowed it from more ancient works. Regal Otter is now following my channel. Thanks, Regal Otter. That was loud in my head.
Waiting 50 years, they're obviously playing the long game. Probably why they were mucking around Smog's bones when he came into the Dale Lands. Yeah, that's a good point. Who was that? Was that... Wait, did I miss the road? I got distracted by that notification. No, I did not miss the road. So that was Karsgar that was doing that? Or was that just people trying to, like, harvest bones? I don't... Oh, I am on the road. That bit of the story is a little unclear to me, what they were doing there. But yeah, that's a good point, right? There was something, there was something there. There was something about smog that they needed, one way or the other, dead or alive, they needed him. And then he's dead, so maybe they still had to find whatever that they need. You're still in the middle of the story? Nice. I did not expect to see you this day, but it has proven to be one of my, one of many curiosities. I called my people to return to the hill, but four have not yet returned from their spying. One among them flew the furthest abroad, but the other three did not have such a journey ahead or behind them. We are fewer in number still than we were in the days of the last king to bear Thorn's name, and I grow concerned on their behalf. Perhaps they did not hear my call, or perhaps they were discovered by unfriendly eyes. One flew into the forest that was Mirkwood, another to the Iron Hills, and another among the Dale Lands. If King Thorin seeks the sight and wisdom of the ravens, you must do this. Seek out my people and send them to the hill. It is then you shall learn what you seek. All right, we're going raven hunting, but not the kind of hunting that's normally hunting. Oh, that's funny. That's where I started my stream. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to that one first. Uh, and to Loigland. Having a large angry dragon on your side could be useful. Yeah, exactly, right? And that was sort of the... I don't. I get the movies and the books mixed up. And I know, you know, the movies kind of made things up. And it was somewhat clearly made in the movies that, you know, Gandalf knew Sauron's intention was to get Smog on his side. Or at the very least, they had to destroy Smog so that he didn't, he didn't go to the side of, of Sauron. Which was sort of the point of the mission to Erebor. Mission? Quest? See if I can find my way back up here. Is this it? I th think this might be it. Or am I just below it? I discovered this place by accident, so I didn't take note of how I got there. Oh, here we go. I found it. In the books, it does not make mention that Smog weighed heavily on Gandalf's mind and that he feared the possibility that Sauron would find a way to use the dragon to ill effect in the north. It does not make mention. Okay.
Whoops. I didn't mean to get both of you. Oh, well. Uh. Deaky Worston, good evening. Hello. Appearing to understand, the raven flies off towards Raven Hill. That's too funny. I found this place when I was questing yesterday by accident. I thought, wow, what a great view. I'm just going to log out here, then I can start my Lotro stream here this morning, and suddenly I'm back here, which at two hours later. How's life? Life's good. How are you? Thanks for dropping into Lotro stream tonight. This view is uh, pretty amazing from up here. I mean, it's sort of marshy and swampy, but... You can see Leugland. You can see the... Smog's bones and the remnants of Lake Town. You can see the river. Where the, uh, the dwarves came flying down in barrels with uh, Legolas and Tamriel jumping over top of them. Something like that. <laughs> All right, where are my other two ravens? Hail to the Rev says, Unfinished Tales mentions Gandalf was pondering how to deal with Smog when he ran into Thorin and Bree, who for his own reasons wanted Smog removed. Deaky's new, not bad. Not half bad, besides a quiet, restless night so far. All right, let's head to Dale. Unfinished Tales. I've only read... I think I've only read the one story in Unfinished Tales. The um, I just got it. I just got Unfinished Tales like a month ago, six weeks ago. So I've read the Tuor and the Fall of Gondolin story. I actually started reading the Galadriel and Celeborn story as well and got about 10 pages in and was massively confused. So I said, I'm going to come back and do this one at another time. Uh, but I will have to, uh, I definitely want to finish Unfinished Tales. It is such a nice piece of work. There's some interesting stories in there. It's that way. Oh, there's an old chest. There's another old chest. I'm collecting all these. I have a. Um, that's number three. Where are my other ones? Right here. I have number six, number one, and number nine. From Appendix A, Duran's Folk. Okay. Wait, how do I get around here? I can see him on my mini map. He's right there, Raven.
<laughs> I can't do that way. Oh, well. Did you see the large text block? The large text block? Not sure what you mean. No. I'm still not sure what you mean. You mean somebody's, m did I see somebody's message? Did I miss a message? We found a raven and a dwarf marker. Go home. Oh, this thing's still blinking. I don't think I can use it again, though. Ow. Oh, I just get it again. I get the same one again. All right, it just responds. I see. I'm not going to do the scourge. <whistles> Ouch. Go away, big feral battle cat. So we had one more raven that headed out towards the Iron Hills, which is where we're going to be heading very soon. Well, they said the Iron Hills are the Grey Mountains, right? So it's either we go north or we go east, or maybe both. far is this guy is there a character limit i posted expert from appendix a during spoke ak the, oh sorry for the confusion well there might be i don't know i didn't see anything like uh there's something called auto mod um which is the moderation tools that twitch provides but Usually I get a notice about anything that's modded. I didn't see anything in my in my chat display. There may in fact be a character limit. Uh, is this guy on the other side of the river? Might be.
<laughs> Third tries a charm. Here we go. All right. I'm rooting for you, Big Red. We'll get it. You may, in fact, have to uh, post more than uh, one message, which would be fine. I think they're on the other side. Man, I'm going the wrong way here. <coughs> Chunks of it down. This is definitely a good quote, if it takes this much work to get it posted. Among many cares, Gandalf was troubled in mind by the perilous state of the North, because he knew then already that Sauron was plotting the war, plotting war, and intended, as soon as he felt strong enough, to attack Rivendell. Oakthorn. Hello, Oakthorn. But to resist any attempt from the east to regain the lands of Angmar and the northern passes in the mountains, there were now only the dwarves of the Iron Hills. And beyond them lay the desolation of the dragon. The dragon Sauron might use with terrible effect. How then could the end of Smaug be achieved? And what did you said that was from Appendix A Durance Folk? Oh, okay. The appendices are so good. They're like, I'm pretty sure the first six times I read Lord of the Rings, I never even bothered with the appendices. I just skipped them. I'm like, they're an appendix. I don't want, I've read the story, I don't need an appendix. What a fool I was. There's the raven. Way up in this rock. The appendices are the best part. Oh, man. The, the story wrap-up of Aragorn and Arwen? Yeah, that one brought me to tears. That was, that was an incredible story. And I'm, like, reading this thinking... This is like, this is like so much more. It had such a stronger effect than the book. Yahoo! One more Raven off. All right, now back to Raven Hill. I think I can sneak by this way. Oh, I can even ford across. It's not even very deep. Let's do a raffle. McBombadil. <laughs> That's a cool name, McBombadil. Uh, very nice. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. Has Dale Lands always been in the game? No. Dale Lands was released in the spring, early summer. Um, so this is the area that I'm currently in. Uh, by the way, there's a raffle open for those that just that I, I posted that. So let me let me finish that up. And um, the raffle is for a 100 Lotro point code for in-game currency. Lotro points are in-game currency, so 100 Lotro points. So exclamation point raffle in chat uh, to win. You must be present when I draw it. I'll draw it here. Let me set a timer. I'll draw it in like uh, 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes or so. Um, 
and you must be following the channel. So in Twitch, above the, oh, that way, above the, it's hard to point when your camera is inverted on your screen. Um, above the top right side, there's a little heart. If it's purple, click it, it'll turn green. That means you're following and you're good. I love the story they told of Gondor and its birth from the watery grave of Numenor to its rise and the eventual fall of the king. Yeah, the Numenor story is amazing. I love the story. I love that story for sure, including the one in Numenor, uh, El Calabeth in, uh, in the Silmarillion. Um, cool, I think I am caught up on chat. So yeah, the Dale Lands, the Dale Lands came out just a few months ago. Uh, it's level 115 content. Um, it it continues from Mordor. So at the end of the Mordor content, the, the Black Book of Mordor continues back to Southern Mirkwood and the destruction of Dol Guldur, uh, because the the elves of Lothlorien uh, press the attack on Dol Guldur. Gladriel takes down Dol Guldur, um, and that's in that's in Tolkien stories. And then from there, you then continue the story into uh, Northern Mirkwood which they only have one map for. I guess they have Felagoth. They didn't do any other maps. Just too bad. I would have liked a map of both Dale and Lake Town. Although Lake Town's kind of small, but it would have been cool to have it. Uh, so yeah, you come up here and you do quests. There's basically three main... Well, there's basically four main areas. Felagoth with the elves... Lake Town, and then Dale with the Race of Men, and then Erebor with the Dwarves. And all of these, all of this is level 115 content. And yeah, it's very well drawn. Blah. It's very well done. It's a very good story. Three of my people were lost, and three are now found. If you would hear my counsel, you must now seek the fourth. I sent him to spy upon the Grey Mountains, and it will be his account that determines the course of the folk of Durin. You should begin your search on the slopes of Erebor. If some trouble has befallen him, he will have flown there. I could have got him before. Looks lovely. Oh, yeah, the... Felagoth does not look lovely. Uh, the north, basically, the northern Mirkwood area is dark, and it's it's really it's really very much like it is described in the Hobbit. It is you get lost easily. It is up and down, uh, but once you're out, you come back into the Dale Lands, and this area is beautiful. They did a very nice job touching on The Hobbit, right? Kind of tying the land together from The Hobbit. But keeping in mind that this is now 80 years later or something like that. Am I going up the right way? I think so. So things have changed a lot. Lake Town has been rebuilt. I mean, it's, a, it's two generations later from the inhabitants of Lake Town's point of view, so. I think, oh, I found another old chest. Hold on, I don't think I have this one. Nice to find things when I'm lost. I remember stepping outside of Moria into Lothlorien for the first time and just thinking it was beautiful. I hear ya. 
What's the raffle for? Oh, it's the raffle is for 100 Lotro point code. <laughs> He's in it. Regardless of what it's for, Uger's in. Perfect. I have to get over there somewhere. There's that other marker. I think I'm going the right way now. Does Locha have a way of jumping to a higher level to experience the new content? Yes. The There is a, you can buy your way up. So the fastest way up is the Aria of the Valar, which will take any character that is, you have to, every, the character has to finish the tutorial. So it's basically level six or seven or something like that. And then you can use the Aria and it will take you to level 105. And then you can basically go into Mordor the uh you're not completely finished your character at that point there's a few the area of the valar is pretty complete like you do get um they ha they've had these things forever uh, they had like the gift of the valar and the blessing of the valar uh but they didn't they used to not give you a lot of like trait points, so you had to go back and earn all your trait points, which sometimes was a lot of questing. Uh, they didn't give you a lot of virtues, so you had to go and grind deeds out to earn your virtues, but the area of the Valor actually gives you quite a few of them. The one thing they don't really give you is a legendary item. So they don't give, they only give you like two third age items or maybe three. So, you have to go and grind out your first age item, and that's a big grind still. So it'll definitely get you a long way, but there's still kind of a lot, depending on how good you want your character to be, there's still quite, a, there can still be quite a bit of work left to do. Oh no. A lone raven lies wounded upon the western slope of Erebor. To your relief, it appears the raven was only left stunned by a recent encounter with a foe, but escaped before a more serious wound could be inflicted. As you move to aid the raven, it lets out a bubbling croak in fear. Where is it? Whoa! I didn't expect them to come from that way. Having regained its strength, the raven flies for Ravenhill. Cool. What else is up here? Treasure cache? Oh, apparently I've already found it. Uh, it's dark out, so it's hard to see, but there's Mirkwood over in that direction, right? Uh, sort of. It's a long way over there. Your character from years ago is level 50 something. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a cheaper version of the Aria of the Valar. My store pops up in a window, so you don't get to see it. But let me find um
Yeah, I, oh, advancement. Yeah, I don't even know where to buy it in the store. Hmm. So, yeah, I think there's a cheaper version that will take you, instead of from level 6 to 105, it will take you from level 50 to 105. But I can't confirm that because I can't find it in the store. If anybody knows, let me know. Oh, the Moobot, the Moobot, uh, Big Red, I'm sure you're in it. Um, it doesn't always reply with added one or more users to the raffle. Um, so yeah, if you if you go bang raffle, you're in it. Hey, Wood, welcome. How are you today? Tonight, I guess. Abigail fills it in. There we go. There's one to level 50, one for 50 to 95, and the and the one for 105. Wood's tired. Oh dear. Well, hopefully we can brighten your day. There's a raffle going on, Wood. So, oh, you did hit bang raffle. Good, 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 good. good. All right, I'll draw it in a few minutes. Let's go back to Raven Hill, and then I'll draw it from there. Hey, the Grey Wardens is here. Good evening. Your show just moved, right, Grey Wardens? Your Lotro stream show, I mean. Maybe you can remind everybody what time it moved to. Another one of our Lotro stream team. Epic Uger is also one of our Lotro stream team. He's also here. He streams Thursday night at whatever time he usually starts. What time do you start? Uger? Grey Wardens is Wednesday night at 10.30 Eastern. There you go. Make sure you tune in. Wednesday nights. It's always a good time. You have done well to rescue my people, but now I ask that you hear my counsel. I shall tell you what I have learned, and you would be wise to listen. There are strange faces come to the Iron Hills, alike yet different. I do not think they shall play a role in these dealings, but that remains to be seen. Karsgar moves silently under the eaves of the forest that was Mirkwood, but he has not traveled far. Whatever wound he once bore no longer burdens him. The cold drake named Vethug has stirred in the old halls of the great folk of Durin. The gates of the steel keep are open, and a bitter cold has swept over the gray mountains. He shall, he shall soon fly for Erebor, and it is then Durin's folk shall be tested. The mountain is wide enough to shelter all, but there must remain those who will to take up arms. The wisdom of King Thorin and those he trusts must now decide your course. I have spoken. And Uger is Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific, so 10 p.m. Eastern. Yes, that's what I was asking. Thanks, Uger. All right, last call for the uh, raffle. We have a raffle open for 100 Lotro point code. So exclamation point raffle in chat, please. <laughs> You're on the same time as Critical Role. I know, right? 
There are so many conflicts. I see so many streamers that I like catch like once a month or less. And I'm like, it's just timing. I can't, I can't see them. Yeah. Timing stuff. Zinger, welcome. Nice to see you. Erebor is awesome. We're going through the uh, lay of rust and rhyme. We're heading back to talk to King Thorin the third, but first I'm going to draw a raffle. So get your name in if you want to get in. We got a few seconds left. Oh yeah, Wood said I don't see Big Ed much anymore. Yeah, Wood is or Big Ed. Big Ed has had some work pile up on him, so he's been uh, he has been able to stream much less, unfortunately. All right, draw on the raffle. Hard hit. Woohoo. Hard hit's a great supporter of our Lotro community. Well deserved winner of 100 Lotro point code. Nice. I will uh, send you a whisper. Sweet. Perfect. There you go. Let me know if there's any issues. And congratulations. I'll draw another one of those in uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so. Well, I'll open another draw in 15 minutes or so. <laughs> Rigged hardly. Uh, nice. So does what you're doing now unlock once you finish the zone content? Just got to D myself. Um, I think so, but I might be wrong about that. But yeah, I don't, I don't remember it being. Maybe it's when you finish the Black Book of Mordor or the zone content or both. Yeah, it wasn't open right away. There was some something that was blocking it, but I don't honestly remember exactly what. It worked? Awesome. Thanks, Hard Hit. <laughs> You're welcome. My new uh, my new goat solving the little puzzle quest. Can't remember what it was called now. Yeah, it's very nice. What was it? The uh, the goat of Erebor's royal guard. A goat clad in the raiment of Erebor's royal guard. Very nice. It has been quite some time. What tidings do you bring? What did Arka's ravens discover? You recount Arka's telling of what her people spied in Aaron Lesgalen, Dale, the Iron Hills, and the Grey Mountains. You warn King Thorin that Vethug Wintermine prepares to fly from the Steel Keep in the Grey Mountains and that Karsgar still plots some evil from the shadows of Aaron Lesgalen. 
Arka is one of the great ravens, and so I do not doubt her wisdom. Bethig will soon come to Erebor, and I shall make certain that the other folk of this realm are protected from his wrath. Many preparations. I'm just going to catch my, uh, check my 12 of 16. Cool. I'm sure I have time for one more. Gravity got the goat now. One of us, one of, one of us. Is that right? We're a club. Got to get the goat. I always like listening to Grab play the game. Wow, that's very kind. Thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Well, Matt, I awaited your return. I, I would like to, you know what I would like to do? I'm sorry, I stopped reading. I would like to, I wish I had uh, Apulu's uh, confidence to do voices. <laughs> and try and actually do voices for the narratives. Uh, well, Matt, I waited your return and I am pleased you have come. I have sent word to the leaders of the North and I informed that I informed them that you would aid them in the prefer, in the preparing for the coming battle against Bethug Wintermine. Ah, and before you ask, I am not playing a trick on you this time. When Bethug's coming still remained in doubt, I was of such a mind, but no longer. Each of our peoples will prepare in their own way. But I would send you to aid them. It may be an old foe of Durin's folk that comes to the north, but the world has changed, and we have more now to consider than our own delvings. Aid the peoples of Dale and Lake Town, and then assist the elves of Felagoth. King Thranduil offers his finest archers in the defense of Erebor, and I would thank him for it. Be swift, friend. We must be prepared for when Bethu comes to Erebor. Talk to the Queen Regent Erna and aid the people of Dale. That I can do. Now he's stumbling. Yeah, now I'm stumbling. Ugh, I'm just like tripping over my words. Okay, I have fast travel today. Let's do that. That's because tonight has been a lot of quest reading as I do this because there is a lot of quests to read in the Lay of Rust and Rhyme. I have a new respect for people who uh, read books for a living. I mean, like, record spoken word for a living. By the way, if there are Lord of the Rings fans, the I have both the Rob Inglis, The Hobbit, and Rob Inglis, The, uh, the Lord of the Rings, and they're really well done. Rob Inglis does a great job reading those books. By the dragon shadow. By the dragon shadow. Welcome. King Thorin sent word that you would soon come to Dale, and I am glad you have come. I have heard the king's counsel, but my family and I shall remain with Dale along with our warriors. King Thorin offered to protect the folk of Dale within the Lonely Mountain, and I have urged my people to seek shelter in the Dwarf Halls. I will not force them to go, but perhaps you can speak to them again on my behalf. It seems King Thorin still harbors a great deal of ill will toward the Easterlings that have come to seek refuge in the foothills of the Lonely Mountain. I shall send word to the Kaisir and other refugees of Ruin that they are welcome to seek shelter within Dale. They are not strangers to us any longer, and by the end of the coming battle we may both know the ways of the other more keenly. Go and speak to my people. King Thorin tells me your journey shall be long, so travel swiftly and with great care. Thank you. You don't know what happened to your Audible books? Oh, no. Well, hopefully you figure out what happened to them. My favorite team beat the Yankees today. I'm happy. Not <laughs> low That's all right. That's allowed. I've never had the courage to listen to a Lord of the Rings audiobook. What if it doesn't sound like the internal voices I have for my character? Oh, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. All right, that's it. Oh, I lost my husband and son to the war. This house holds my only memories of them. I cannot go.
<laughs> you believe with a falsetto? Maybe. What do you think of all this is for? Of course I'm leaving. No, I won't be going to the Lonely Mountain. That said, my horse will be packed if things take a turn. Oh, well, that's smart. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, John Reese davies was a, a great voice for Gimli. Do you see any of these folks closing up their shops? They're not leaving, and neither am I. And if I remember correctly, uh, John Reese John davies also was Treebeard in the movies. Yep, what else confirms? Oh, you mentioned a wrong thing. This reminded me of which books are missing. Well, hopefully you can find them. If what this dwarf has told us is true, I have a lot of packing to do. Have to get back over there. What choice have we? My husband and I will soon depart for the Lonely Mountain. You have choices. You always have choices. Talk to Master Dagrin and eight. Oh, I'm walking toward my quest arrow. I'm not going to walk all the way to Lake Town. But I'm right by the stable master. Good I'll evening. do this. Perfect. You can search YouTube and find all the making of documentaries from the making of documentaries from the original launch Lord of the Rings trilogy. That's cool. Dagrin. Oh, and well, but it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's used now. So let's have another raffle. There we go. So one more raffle for a hundred Lotro point code. Same rules apply. Type exclamation point raffle to enter. And you must be following the channel to win. And be present when I draw it so that I can send it to you. Dagrun. There's hope yet, if all I hear is true. You have come at a fortunate time. Lake Town is bustling today. The docks are rife with fishermen. Merchants are selling useless trinkets and odd drafts. And none of it is any help in keeping beneath the notice of that cold drake. I, too, have read the king's missive, but I regret that I cannot, that I can offer little aid outside a few water skins to the dwarves of Erebor. As for Lake Down, I have spent two evenings now crafting an appropriate notice to send to my people. The words just would not come. It seems to me that if the cold drake seeks Erebor, we might do well to avoid drawing his attention. To that end, I have decided to enforce a curfew. All lights must be put out after dusk, and none but the guards shall be permitted upon the paths of Lake Town until this business is done. I would greatly appreciate your help in posting the curfew notices throughout Lake Town. My guards have been busy enough. The notices are over on that table behind me. Oh, and do not forget to take water skins with you when you travel into the lands of the elves.
Oh, found a water skin. Hopefully that guy wasn't like using that water skin that I just took off his table. Seems a bit rude just to grab it, but what else can I do? The elves are thirsty. So many ideal nose locations in this town. Hey, take care, Grey Wardens. Have a great night. Oh, ha ha well, have a great, great trip home. <laughs> Get off work and go home. I feel like the game's use of exclamation marks and quest notices is far increased over time. <laughs> it could be. Hey, look, there's no lineup. You can go to the bathroom. Hey, Big Red, thanks for following my personal channel. Much appreciated. Oh, there's a water skin back over there. I don't really like the idea of swimming here with all of these uh, outhouses dropping into the lake, but hopefully there's a strong current. Old Firehead, greetings. Welcome to Lotro Stream tonight. Thanks for dropping by. Suspicious characters are suspicious. Either that or they've got... They're playing some game of dice or something. I don't know. I love the, uh, can you smell it? This, so this guy said, uh, can you smell it? Apple barrels on the, uh, I can't find his text. App, he mentioned apple barrels, whatever his, his little, uh, walk by text was. And I just love the fact that they, they may have overdid it a, a bit, but of course, the only barrel that was described in The Hobbit was whichever one Feely or Keeley got out of. And they said, mine was filled with apples. I hope I never have to smell an apple again or something like that. So any description of a barrel now is an apple barrel. Hi, Delarfin. Hello. Thanks for dropping in. There is a raffle open for a 100 Lotro point code. Make sure you're following the channel, exclamation point raffle to enter. <laughs> I 
I think I can ban you even though you're a mod, Epic Uger, so be careful, man. Not that I ever would, of course. You know, I had to tell six people in Dale and I have to put up 10 of these notices in Little Lake Town. It's like, more of these suspicious characters. I feel like they're planning like a, uh, I want to think that they're doing like a dungeon crawl or something. They're, 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 like, they're like dungeon masters and they're setting up a game. I want to cast magic missile. Of course you do. Okay, what did I, oh, now I gotta go talk to King Thrand. All right. Thanks, Ardit. Let it, letting other people get a chance to win. Hey, DeWalls. <coughs> You've been told that Gravity42 is gonna change his name to Gravy. Is there any truth behind this? Oh my gosh, you guys are teaming up on me now. <laughs> what can I do for you? I don't know. I mean, I only have the 42 there because I couldn't get gravity. Because somebody else got to it first. Uh, so maybe I should just change my name to Gravy and be done with it. I could be Gravy Boat. Gravy for short. <laughs> Gravy is as good as bacon. Exactly. Oh, I didn't start my timer. No, I didn't. That's all right. I think Sir, I Sir Isaac Newton beat you to the gravity thing. He may have. Word reached me from Erebor that you would soon come to Felagoth, Helting. Both I and the king under the mountain have agreed that it would, be you, it would be unwise to send too great a force of elves to Erebor. However, I shall still send every archer and warrior that can be spared from the defenses of Felagoth. If Vethug is not defeated, he will trouble all our peoples. It is a long journey to Erebor, and my soldiers must travel swiftly and without undue burdens. I would ask that you gather quivers of arrows, crates of provisions, and straw. Once you have gathered enough pack barrels, and I shall have them sent through the water gate to Loigland and onward to Esgaroth. My soldiers will come to bear the barrel's contents for the final miles of the journey, but it will hasten their early travel. I thank you for your aid. Let us hope it is enough. John DeGard thinks gravy might actually be better than bacon. Ooh. Well, there's a debate that might never end. I guess I got to go to the armory. That makes sense. But I heard someone say rocks have gravity and gravity rocks. <laughs> Thanks. That's funny. Good gravy, yes. You would have thought that that someone would have noticed that whole what goes up must come down thing before Newton. Yeah, and it's what's interesting. There's a book which I have yet to read. I own it. My wife has read it and talks very, very highly of it. Called The Invention of Air. And it's sort of the same thing. It's it's just this story about how scientists kind of realize that there's like air here, right? Like all around us. They were breathing it. And 
it wasn't that long ago. Like it was, con it was, it was people associated with Ben Franklin, and you would have thought you, nobody noticed air. <laughs> like, like they sort of realized they knew what the wind was, but they never really associated it with air or something. Yeah, it's it's interesting the kind of obvious scientific things that you would have thought would have been easier to figure out. Maybe it's this maybe it's because it's so simple. It's the simple things that we look at now that are harder to figure out when you don't know them. Air is everywhere. I know. Noble Ian, welcome. Thanks for dropping by. I grew up eating gravy at almost every meal, no lie. Wow. Gravy covered bacon for the win. <laughs> <laughs> you just may be on to something. This requires intensive study. You know, come to think of it, I think I had a lot of gravy growing up too. And I don't think I've... I don't think I... I don't think I ever make gravy anymore. Thanksgiving, I think I make turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. I make turkey bacon. I got that. Everybody's got me going on turkey and bacon suddenly. Turkey gravy. Oh, is there one more quiver in here? Why did I get five? Turkey gravy is the best. Yeah, it really is, right? Turkey gravy. You take the uh, a bun covered in leftover turkey, covered in mashed potatoes, covered in dressing, covered in gravy. Watton Thinberry. Hello and welcome. My mother only made turkey bake, bake, turkey gravy. I still got turkey bacon on my mind. <laughs> All right, this is definitely turned into a. I, I think um, this might be my first like. Lotro stream where I went all food, which is what I've heard is that all Lotro streams eventually end up talking about food. So it makes sense that it would happen eventually. All right, revisions. <laughs> Hilton, servant, servant of Melkor, thief of quivers. I am not. I am a servant of not Melkor. I'm trying to think. Well, who would who would a Valar be? So I'm a minstrel. So who, who would the Valar be that would be mostly associated with song? I guess they're all singers, right? That whole Ainulindale. We did it to Gussie earlier today. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, see, Gussie, we were talking about streamers that are hard to see. I never, I hardly ever get to see Gussie just because of timing. I take a day off and Gussie's on and I'm like, this is fantastic. This is like the, literally the reason to take a day off work is so I get to see Gussie, Gussie Moose stream. And the one day that I did that, it was the day that she went into Lingress. Man, that was a good stream to uh, take a day off work for. Her, uh, her, her uh, dislike of spiders is quite dramatic. Yeah, she's very early now. Hey, look, an empty apple barrel. One more time.
Webs of Scuttledale's featured instance to save her day. <laughs> For sure. I, to her defense, Lingris is pretty intense. When you first go in there, it's like, oh my gosh, there's like hundreds and hundreds of mobs. I don't know if you ever, um, if you're ever a hunter in Lingris and you track something and you scroll all the way, it's sorted by distance to you. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom and select that one and go track, it isn't very far away. Like everything above it was closer than it. Oh, I wasn't able to use this before. Oh, <laughs> I just left. I knew that was going to do something right before it finished. Uh, a minstrel maybe servant to Varda? Yeah, I don't know. I think th they were all sort of minstrels. All right. <laughs> I have escaped. Belagoth. Uh, and I missed two crates of provisions, so now I got to go back. Oops. All right, let's, uh, one more warning to get, uh, any last minute entries. There's a raffle open, exclamation point raffle in chat. Make sure you are following the channel. It is for a 100 Lotro point code. What else is in? Perfect. I finished both Spider Slayer deeds and Lingris just by normal questing. Wasn't even trying for the deeds. Yeah. Um, when you say both, do you mean like the, the normal and then the advanced version? Because there's actually a third hidden deed. And if you keep doing dailies, you will eventually do it as well. I'm going to get on my horse and run back there. Are we talking about... No, he, uh, Redbeard was um, accusing me of being a servant of Melkor by stealing the quivers. And I said, well, I'm a, I'm a minstrel. I should be a servant of whatever Valar is associated with song. So that's what we were trying to figure out, is what uh, what Valar would be most closely associated with song. But of course, they all are because they all sing. So, <laughs> Oh, don't tell me. I, uh, I did not attempt to grind out the third deed, and I have finished it. Um, I don't even know where to find it in here. <laughs> yes, Dad. Thanks for following the official channel. There. Defeat Shelob's lesser broods in Lingris. It's only a thousand. It doesn't take that long. Uh, I did not try to grind that one out. It just happened naturally. But you get Bane of she Shelob's broods. That stats in the raffle. Perfect. All right. Uh, let's draw it so that I can give it away. <laughs> Sorry, John DeGard. Raffle draw. John DeGard. That was weird. I don't think I saw the use your dashboard to set up and manage Moobot. I don't know what that was about. Oh, sorry, goofy old lady. You're just a... <laughs> Seconds too late. John DeGard, who was just chatting just a moment ago, so I assume you're still here. Do me a favor, John DeGard, and 
Whisper Gravity 42 for me, please, just so I can get a whisper from you. <laughs> Rigged, oh wait. Well, welcome, goofy old lady. I'm glad you joined us. Ah, let me enter the crates. All right, pack supplies. John DeGuard, hello. Perfect. That should work. All right, yeah, it's same as the, oh, and I should do this too. The freebie of the week, XP boost. Probably don't need it on my maxed out character, but I guess we do have a level cap increase. Cam I probably don't need a XP boost on my, to get to 120 either, so. So yes, if you've never, those codes are simple to redeem, just open up the store just like you would for the freebie, hit redeem code, enter the code, all right, don't use the empty uh, empty apple barrel. What area is coming with a level boost? So I'm not 100% sure. They're going to take us to the Iron Hills, and they're going to take us to the Gray Mountains. So the Lay of Rust and Rhyme, which I'm doing right now, is actually really cool because they're actually they're talking about the Grey Mountains and the history behind it and this, this cold drake that is up there and the elves that were driven out of there by that cold drake and so forth and so on. So it's actually a really kind of good introduction to the Grey Mountains. So Dewal says it's the Grey Mountains. So is, is the next update including Iron Hills content as well or is it just Grey Mountains? Because they have said that both of these areas are coming what I'm not sure about is the timing of it. Martin says, if there was a Valar more closer to song, they all are, yeah. But I think it would be Nessa, since she was the dancer. Sounds legit. Jinjar, hello, welcome. One day they'll have us go south to Harad or Umbar. Umbar would be cool, especially if they could somehow tell us some of the story around Numenor. Talk to King Thorn the Third. All right, so I'm back to, so let's take this route back. Dewall says, I haven't heard of Iron Hills yet, but I don't think that Grey Mountains alone would be enough for 120. So there's always that possibility. Well, there is a, uh, Druid's Fire actually has a great interview with Severlin. Uh, from Gen Con. It's not very long, uh, but she gets into some pretty big questions, four or five pretty big questions. And one of them is the next big update and the one thing that they have said is that it will be very instance heavy. So it's possible, maybe, that it's just the Iron Hills and then a lot of instance content uh, instead of a lot of overland quest content, maybe.
But yeah, you're right. At this, at the rate things are going, I would expect. Like I don't know how much they can give us in the Iron Hills. Although the lore people at Standing Stone seem to be able to do a great deal of content from the simplest of sentences that Tolkien wrote. So. It is done. Let us hope our preparations are enough. Now all we can do is wait. All right, done waiting? Wait, where am I on this quest line? Do I try and finish it right now? No, I think I'll finish it next week. I think I'm going to end this here, actually. In my usual spot, I could, I could go hang out with Gandalf. Wasn't Gimli up here somewhere? I guess Gimli locked. It's just me and Gandalf now. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm almost as tall as Gandalf, but my eyebrows aren't nearly as epic, unfortunately. Not to mention a whole bunch of other things that I can't do either. But. So thanks, everybody, for tuning in to Lotro stream tonight. It was a lot of fun continuing the Lay of Rust and Rhyme quests. Uh, chat was awesome, as always. Always nice to see people here. And always nice to be part of this. Wonderful, wonderful community. Epic Googler says a ton coming soon. As soon, trademark. Yeah, exactly. Coming soon. <laughs> it's coming soon. You probably can't break bridges with your mind either. No, I probably can't. Farewell, Melkor. Secret meeting tomorrow. Don't forget. Yes, yes. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Got it. <laughs> Goofy old lady. That's fine. People come. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi. Uh, is there anybody else upstream in Lotro tonight? Anybody we can raid? Oh, yeah, there is. All right. There's a uh, Fletchlock Gaming is up. I actually, he was up last week when I shut down, but I didn't know him, so I didn't want to, um, I didn't really want to raid somebody I didn't know. But I did go in and watch him, and he is definitely... Lotro stream approved. Um, and he's a great streamer. So why don't we raid John DeGuard? He's a nice guy. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. He's a compatriot of mine, actually, as well, um, being Canadian. So it was funny when I stopped in to watch him. Uh, Tamartini actually came in and was chatting with him, too. It sounded like she knew him as well. So it sounds like he's already sort of a member of the community. But I just had not come to know him yet so let's raid Fletchlock Ga Gaming say a big friendly farewell from the Lotro stream community it would be awesome and I will be back next week uh, let's do this let's go uh, I think Feckless is back up streaming fairly regularly so hopefully we'll see her tomorrow I think she's on at 2 p.m. I can't remember her time. Again, it's during the day, so I can never remember what it is. Tuesday, yeah, 2 p.m. Eastern, Feckless is on, and then Mort should be on at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then Doug Glendower's got a new time slot tomorrow, right after Mort, so make sure to tune in tomorrow, too. All right, let's raid Fletchlock. Thanks again, everybody. Have a great rest of your week. And... Have a great time in Lotro. So I should have started the raid sooner before I did my little ramble, since it's got to count down. So don't leave the raid, or enter it if you're already, if you're not automatically in it. I'm not quite sure how these Twitch raids work yet. All right, I am Gravity Forty Two. You can find me there, and you'll find me here next week. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.